they came, but someone else was the victor. The Iron Lady, as the German Chancellor has been dubbed of late, irritated her European neighbors by calling on the International Monetary Fund to help Greece out of its financial crisis. Fellow EU states wanted to sort it out without outside intervention. Not so German industry, which has welcomed the move. In this constellation, it's good to have a third party, in this case the IMF, that has the means to help Greece in a time of crisis and also to make demands. That removes some of the political pressure. It's not Germany or another country that's making demands on Greece, but an outsider. They don't want the euro to sink into the Aegean sands, not least because it triggered an export boom for Germany. Almost half its exports are to Eurozone countries, and a common currency is a decisive factor in that equation. But although the IMF has come up with a solution, Germany and many other EU countries will have to chip in nonetheless. And as taxpayers' money is involved, everyone has something to say about it. You've got to stand on your own two feet. I think countries in the EU ought to help and support one another, even when it comes to running a country. Germany is always involved. That's not right. The Greeks should solve the problem themselves. In the coming weeks, if Greece can't get any more money from the markets, Germany could find itself having to stump up 3 billion euros. It's a lot of money. But in economic terms, it's an investment in the future. In five years, the German economy and other European partners will benefit from the euro, and we will have a stronger coordination system that enables us to maintain the eurozone as a single entity. And there's no doubt that that is something the German businesses do want.